seniors and nutritional supplements what do you need a healthy diet may not be enough aging and nutritional supplements since many age-related illnesses and medication side effects change how seniors absorb vitamins and minerals individuals who once experienced adequate vitamin and mineral intake through a healthy diet and lifestyle may need to consider adding nutritional supplements to their daily routine in order to make up for the unabsorbed nutrients for example some medications are diuretics and can drain your body of essential minerals and vitamins due to increased urination individuals diagnosed with kidney problems may need to decrease their potassium intake simply put our bodies are always changing and our bodies are all different as we change and age we do not metabolize nutrients as effectively as we used to so I did some research to get to the bottom of this whole seniors taking vitamins debate I spent considerable time on various websites and found that the most helpful and consistent information on this subject in my opinion came from the Linus Paul Institute of Oregon State University whose focus is researching health maintenance and the food and nutrition board of the National Institute of Medicine I wanted to see which vitamins we should be focused the most on as we age and here is a summary of my findings the goal of these studies is to understand the mechanisms by which diet micronutrients and dietary supplements affect disease initiation and progression and can be used in the prevention or treatment of human diseases thereby enhancing lifespan and health span excerpt from about the Linus Paul Institute web page vitamins b6 and b12 vitamin b12 is needed to keep up mental cognition and some studies suggest it is linked to preventing dementia however our body's ability to keep B vitamins in diminishes and B vitamins do not stay in the system for very long this one I would recommend talking to your doctor about a supplement plus eating more foods where B vitamins occur naturally such as dairy products vitamin C along with the noticeable slowing of your metabolize with age your immune system gradually slows too vitamin C is essential for keeping that immune system working at an optimal level so it can protect each cell in your body vitamin C is an antioxidant and antioxidants neutralize free radicals that destroy your healthy cells this vitamin also helps in the production of collagen a vital component of your skin and connective tissue for proper healing of wounds as well as supports healthy brain cell functions according to the Linus Pauling Institute a vitamin C intake of at least 400 milligrams per day may be specifically important for aging adults who could be at higher risk for age-related illnesses luckily you get vitamin C from nearly every fruit and veggie in your diet so even though many multivitamins lack an adequate amount of your daily recommended dose of this vitamin you probably get enough from your diet vitamin C for smokers along with a host of health problems smoking weakens your immune system if you still smoke or have been a long time smoker you may need more vitamin C to keep your immune system up as you age vitamin D and calcium these help your bones and your immune system which can deteriorate a lot as we age osteoporosis is also all too common in seniors and vitamin D and calcium can help protect your bones from this disease vitamin D is also associated with helping to decrease the risk of multiple cancers bone fractures and multiple sclerosis find vitamin D in dairy products and sunlight avoid too much sun exposure though the best source of calcium besides dairy is dark leafy greens like spinach and broccoli daily supplementation with 2000 to 50 micrograms of vitamin D if you aren't consuming enough is especially important for older adults since aging is associated with a reduced ability to synthesize vitamin D through the skin via the Sun magnesium magnesium is an important mineral because it is involved in many physiologic pathways and cell functions more than 300 essential metabolic reactions to be more specific to name a few magnesium plays a structural role in bones cells and cell membranes helps with energy production nucleic acid and protein synthesis and helps the enzymes that synthesis many carbs and lipids 
Deficiency of magnesium isn't as common as other minerals because it can be found in both plant and animal products. Studies do show, however, that seniors are at greater risk of deficiency because medications and chronic conditions such as gastrointestinal and renal disorders can deplete your body's magnesium levels. Taking a multivitamin should help replenish lost magnesium. Potassium Find this important mineral and electrolyte in bananas, potatoes, and avocados. Potassium is essential to for our body's cells and cell membranes in order for our bodies to function normally. Potassium lowers our sodium levels and keep our blood pressure from spiking too high. However, if you have kidney issues, potassium is something you may would need to avoid, which is why you should always ask your doctor. An abnormally low potassium concentration in your blood's plasma is referred to as hypoglymia. Hypoglymia is most commonly present as a result of an excessive loss of this essential mineral, usually caused from prolonged vomiting, the use of medications that are diuretics, and some forms of kidney diseases or metabolic disorders. The physical symptoms of someone experiencing this type of potassium deficiency include fatigue, weakness of your muscles, cramps, bloating, constipation, and abdominal pain. Fiber One noticeable change many seniors agree on is that your GI system doesn't move things through your body like it used to. While there are different classifications of fibers, in general it can be said that eating a fibrous diet or can help you feel fuller, and keep food moving through your system. Another easy way to get more fiber, besides eating more fruits and veggies, is to switch to whole grain products and consider taking a daily fiber supplement. Studies discussed by the Linus Pauling Institute provide strong and consistent evidence that diets rich in fiber can reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases as well as type 2 diabetes. Find fiber in whole grains, legumes, fruit, and non starchy vegetables. Viscous fibers such as those found in legumes and oats has additional benefits to just digestion. These fibers can lower serum LDL cholesterol levels and stabilize your blood glucose and insulin responses. Omega-3 fatty acids Studies show that typically women over the age of 60 receive an adequate intake of this nutrient through their diet, while men over the age of 60 do not. This is an essential part of a balanced diet particularly for aging adults because omega-3 fatty acids are associated with protection against heart disease, diabetes, and cognitive decline.